So I do already have my foundation on and I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal, the little thing. So this is in the color natural. This was the lightest color I could get. I don't know if it's gonna work for concealer, but we shall try. Oh, for some reason I was expecting it to be like a little squeezy, not like a little brush thing. I'm always scared. I never know how much of this to push out of the tube before it explodes on me. Like the little squeezy tube. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna take a beauty blender. Wow, that bladed out actually really easy. I'm kind of surprised. It's got pretty good coverage. It does look more dewy. I'd say this is pretty good coverage. It's a little more dewy than I'm used to. I like the squeeze tube. I like the way that it applies. I really like the size of the tube. I feel like you get a lot of product for three dollars. This is gonna be an interesting video. And this was only $2.99. Granted, I did have to buy all this online because it's not in my Walgreens, but it came in like two days. So I am really happy with this item. I am going to set that with this guy. Next, I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. I've heard a ton of good things about this product. I've also heard that the original formula smells horrible, so that's why I got the Naturally Neutral one. And this has a crap ton of powder in it. It has 2.3 ounces. That's like more than the Laura Mercier one. And this was $6.49. So I'm just gonna open this. Hope it doesn't explode. Oh my God. Open. That's me. How does this open? What? Oh, it just like comes off. It doesn't twist. These are the culprits. Stupid things. It comes with this weird puff thing. Don't need that. It's the only part about drugstore that it sucks. So I'm gonna set my whole face, as you can see, my face is still dewy. I'm gonna set my whole face with this powder. This smells like baby powder. This supposed to smell like baby powder. Well, that's weird. Tell me they didn't just shove baby powder in here and call it Cody Airspun Powder. I like how this is applying. It makes my skin look really airbrushed. Don't know if I like the baby powder scent. It really feels like I'm just putting baby powder on my face. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day. I'm just gonna bronze up the face real quick with this NARS Laguna. This is something that I've had for a while. I just, this is, I wanna focus mainly on the stuff that I haven't tried before. So, sorry if that last section was a little echoey. My SD card for my audio kind of decided to die. I just tried this Cody Airspun loose face powder in Naturally Neutral. I think it's really pretty. It's not completely translucent. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna see how it has, how it holds up throughout the day with my oily skin. Yeah, let's just do some blush. All up on the cheekies. You'd think I would be more prepared for this video. Nope. For highlight, um, I've had this product for a little while, but I have not used it. So I still count it as a first impressions. This is the Ofra Derma Mineral Powder in Pink Sapphire. It's a loose pigment that I guess you're supposed to use as a highlight. We'll see how that goes. It's pretty. It's really sparkly. That's what it looks like. It's sparkly. It's really sparkly. Oh gosh. I'm gonna regret this. I don't know if that looks good. We're gonna have to see how this wears throughout the day. Right now, it kind of looks like I just have sparkles on my cheeks. It does make your cheeks look really wet though. So we're gonna focus next on my eyes. This is a Morphe palette I haven't used yet. It's the 35D. It looks like these. It's the Smoky Eye palette and I have not used any of these colors. I'm gonna use the eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. So now that that's blended in, I am going to set it. I guess I'll set it with the translucent powder stuff. I'm gonna start in with this color right here. I do have other Morphe palettes, but I I feel like some of their formula can be a little inconsistent. I already know that I don't tend to like 
the matte morphe eyeshadows as much as the shimmers i feel like they can look a little patchy they're kind of difficult to blend this seems to have a plummy undertone i think i might pop this matte shade it's just a little darker than the one i used before into just the outer v of my eye you see what i mean you see how it kind of looks patchy I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's kind of silver with a purple undertone in it, and I think it might look good. I'm gonna wet this brush with some MAC Fix Plus, because when I originally swatched it, it didn't look very pigmented. I kind of had to work for it. Packing it on the lid. I'm gonna go back in and blend. I think it's a very cool color. It just took quite a bit of work to work it up. I'm gonna take this purple shade right here and just start to blend it underneath my lower lash line a little bit. I am going to put some black liner on the bottom of my lash. So this is what the eyes look like like I really like the silver in here because it has a purple undertone and it kind of turned out that I used a lot of purple burgundy colors I think that the highlight is mellowing out a little bit in terms of sparkles pretty happy with how the eyes turned out and lastly we have a new liquid lipstick to try out this is the Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in babe alert I like the names of these this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really sleek. I like the clear around the tube of lipstick. This is the doe foot applicator. It looks interesting. It looks more like a YSL doe foot applicator rather than a normal one. So this is what the color looks like on my lips. I really like the color, first off. It's a very liquidy consistency when you first apply it. It doesn't look like it's filling into my fine lines just yet. I think that this color is absolutely beautiful. I hear really good things about the formula, so if I like this, I am going to buy more. This was $24, so it is on the high side of a liquid lipstick. So this is the look that I came up with for my five first impressions, and so far I really, really like this liquid lipstick, first off. I really like the concealer. I think it did a really good job of concealing my under eyes. Eh, on the powder, just because it smells like baby powder. It smells hardcore like you're putting baby powder on your face and I don't know if that smells gonna translate throughout the day or if it kind of fades but I do like how it sets my makeup I think it looks really airbrushed and really nice and this Ofra highlighter thing we'll just have to see how it holds up throughout the day I will come back at the end of the day and kind of fill you guys in on how it wore throughout the day my final thoughts and if anything changed from my first impression to at the end of the day until then I'm gonna go work and make some money and I will see you guys in a little bit and welcome back it is later in the evening it's actually really late it's like 10 30 but I just wanted to hop on here and kind of give a quick update on how everything went so let's talk about the first item the first one was the LA girl pro conceal concealer I think it did a really good job of concealing my dark circles underneath my eyes really nice all day it didn't cake up or anything so I really like this the next item I used was the Cody airspun loose face powder in naturally neutral I did not have to powder my face too much much today just a couple times but overall I think this did a really good job of keeping me matte and not super oily I'm gonna have to get used to the baby powder smell but overall I think it's a really good product for how little you pay for it and I think the smell of it you can easily get over because it did not linger on my face today next I used this guy this is the Ofra derma mineral powder in pink sapphire and this is the one that I was probably the, or the most concerned about just because this highlighter was all glitter but throughout the day it let, looked less glittery and more of a sheen on my face so you can see there's a little left over at the high points of my cheeks I think it did a really good job with staying on my face and it lasted until now so I think it's a pretty good product thank you 
The next item I used was the Morphe 35D palette. This was the Smoky palette from Morphe. I used this shade right here. This is the silver with a purple undertone in it. I think that this held on my eyes really well. Overall, I think this is a really nice palette. I'm really happy with the amount of shimmers in here versus mattes. And lastly, I used this Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in Babe Alert and this stayed on my lips for about six hours before it started to fade or crumble. I did notice it transferred a little bit when I was eating or drinking or anything so I just did a quick reapply but other than that it stayed on a really long time and I was really pleasantly surprised with the formula and just how well it held up on my lips throughout the day. Turns out that all of these first impressions were actually really, really good. I'm just gonna end the video there. Hope you guys have a good day or night where you are. And click the like button if you did like this video, if you like doing first impressions and kind of updating you guys at the end of the video to see if my opinion changed throughout the day. And subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.